Okay, good day guys. Today we're going to look at the cooling system of the Golf Mark 1. We're basically going to do a full flush, cool and flush of the engine. We are going to do a flush on the radiator, the heater matrix, and we are also going to remove the thermostat. Okay, so the first thing that you got to do, you got to open this cap. And the next thing you got to do is to loosen up here, undo this clamp here, which goes into the water pump. That's all your old antifreeze coming out. Okay, so the next thing to do is to remove this flange here, and inside that flange we will find the thermostat. Let me just take you in uh, to the bottom, and we can have a better view from there. Okay, so this is the flange that needs to be removed. You got two bolts here, one this side and one on that side. And your thermostat sits inside there. So I'll just loosen that up quick. Okay, so those two bolts are undone. And there you can see the thermostat coming out. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just draining it with some clean water. Laying it down the filler bottle coming out by the water pump. The water is nice and clear. No rust. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to undo this clamp here, which is the pipe which goes through to the heater so that we can flush it. We'll insert a hose pipe in there and it'll flush out the heater and we'll see what the color of that water looks like because heater uh, the matrix is a uh, culprit for building up rust okay before you flush out the heater or the matrix make sure that you put your heater on all the way to hot okay there you can see i've inserted the pipe it's now ready to be flushed and um, we'll turn on the tap okay that's from the uh, flushing out the heater you can see the water looks a bit browner so that is why when you do a flush never forget to flush your, your heater out too well that's the thermostat that I have in this car it's the original Volkswagen one you can see the the brand there and you can see it's stamped 87 degrees I think it's very important also to know that you need to have the proper thermostat that opens at the right intervals like this one says 87 degrees I know there are a lot of people selling thermostats but I don't think they know that there's a sp there, there is the required degree that it needs to open up at okay here's a, a tip on how to test your thermostat to see if it's working you will see now it's in the closed position so it's closed but once i'm going to insert it into hot water it's supposed to open up i don't know if you can see the thermostat is opening up so that's how to test there's a better view now there you can see it's open there you can see it's open can you see this round circular opening that's open that's what happens when the water gets to a certain temperature and then it opens up and it pushes the warm water to the radiator for cooling right the next thing that we're going to do is to undo this clamp here remove this hose so that we can flush out the radiator okay there as you can see I've undone this hose and I've inserted the hose pipe in here to flush out the radiator it will come out to the bottom now the radiator seems quite clear just take the same pipe and you insert it into the water hose and that will go into the cylinder head and it will also come out to the bottom 
Okay guys, so after I've uh, flushed the engine cooling system a couple of times, including the heater matrix, I've put back all my hoses. Now all you need to do is to fill up with um, coolant and the preferred one is the G12 and um, make sure that you fill it up slowly, don't just pour it in. Let the coolant find all the spaces and also very importantly to leave on your heater. Leave it on and as you fill up you will start the engine and let it run and once the coolant starts bubbling up over there then you know that's your air bubbles coming out and a lot of people don't do this they throw coolant in and they leave the heater closed which means now the water the coolant is not running inside there so that is going to create an airlock and you're going to have issues with overheating so when you throw your coolant in make sure that you have your heater switch open okay guys so that's it that's uh, coolant um, flush on the golf mark one Hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe and share and like and comment. Cheers.